Good morning, everyone. This is Matt Nguyen with Kel Williams, and welcome to the Matt Nguyen Show, episode two. So you guys are in for a special treat today because we are previewing a brand new listing that just hit the market. And guess what? No pictures. So you imagine if you're shopping on Zillow or Trulia, Redfin, and you're looking to buy a house, but there's no pictures. So I'm here to give you the inside scoop about this property and everything within its community. Okay, so the address is actually 1637 Thorncrest Drive in San Jose, 95131. One of the most desirable zip codes in San Jose North Valley. It is a two bedroom, two bath, listed for 820,000. Now, here's a little scoop about the community and why I think this is the best deal for you. Now, when people make a decision to buy a house, normally what they look at is schools. They look at crime rate, they look at commute. Those are the three major things that they kind of look at, right? So, with that being said, the school for this house is actually Brooktree Elementary. Now, with that being said, Brooktree is not the sexiest school in San Jose, North Valley, in the Berryessa District. Now, a little bit more about why I think this is a benefit to you is because if you live in this area, most likely you're going to be working at in Santa Clara, Alviso, and Mopitas. And they are like around the corner. So it's an easily five minute drive to go there. Now, if you could afford to live in this community, you could afford to take your kids to Stafford Elementary, which is a private school, uh, and it's one of the best. Okay, so let's go, let's break down the school scores so you kind of see why this is a benefit to you. So, Brooktree Elementary, let's go ahead and go with the ethnicity structure. So, we have a 51% Asian population, right? That includes the Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean, Japanese. So, 51%, huge, right? The next one is Filipino at 23%. And then you have Hispanics at, at 18%. And then there's a little multiple. I don't know what that multiple means, but it's 8%. So here's the breakdown of scores. So this is all scores, including math, English, and social science, right? So all three, right? So here we are. The county average for Asians, this is a test score of 100, okay? So the county scores for Asians in this community is at 80%. For this school, it's at 52.5. Kinda, kinda low, huh? Filipinos, county average is 60.2. This school, 50. Hispanics or Latinos, county is 36.5. This school, 30. And then the multiple, which is, I don't know what multiple is. But um, it's at 84, and the test scores are actually at 60. So if you fit in this multiple category, this is awesome because you're doing well. So with that being said, if you could afford to live in this community, right, take your kids to Stafford because that's the best school. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick tour of this house. Again, it is a two bedroom, two bath, completely updated. Um, HOA is kind of high though at 420, but if you could live in this community, you could afford it. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so that is the front door, right? And then you have a um, patio, which is facing the main street, but this main street is not that bad. Um, there's not that many cars that, that go down here. And, um, you know, if you don't live here, there's no reason for you to even drive here. Okay, this is the living room. And that chair was where I was sitting when I'm doing this video, right? All right, so here we are in the kitchen. Look at this. Looks nice. It's cute, right? It's a two bedroom, two bath. I mean, what else can you expect, right? Look at the kitchen. All right. Brand new appliances, stainless steel. Okay, I apologize, the light's a little dim on this, but, you know. Okay, 
entering the hallway. And we go to the first bathroom. Again, everything is completely updated. All right, look at that. Pretty nice, right? And there you are. You see me with a GoPro. Awesome, right? Here is the tub and shower. Going to the first bedroom. Nicely staged. Let's go to the corner and kind of see the feel of this room to see how big it is. Pretty decent size. One of the things I love about rooms that have mirrors on the closet is that it makes the room look a little bit bigger, which sometimes you need that, especially in this, this area. And now we're heading to the master bedroom. All right, again, we're gonna go ahead and see the whole room view, just so you guys can see how big that is. Okay. So for a master bedroom, you have this one closet. It's pretty small. I really don't wanna open it because you can see for yourself how small this closet is. Now I know most people, like myself, this closet is ideal because I only have like jackets and then shoes, but I don't have purses. So I know some of you ladies out there are looking at this and you're like, oh my God, where'd I put my purse? Hmm, good question. So anyways, here we are at the master bath. Again, everything is completely updated. Uh, it's totally moving ready. I love this house. Um, and then you have the shower and the toilet in a separate room, so, all right. All right, so that's it. It's a small, small, uh, you know, home. Not that big, not extravagant, but it's nice and it's well kept and it's moving ready. So if you wanna take a tour of this house, give me a call, let me know, 408-816-9698. Thank you so much and have a blessed day, bye-bye.